So let's make this quick because life is short. So the University of Nottingham has this site up called 60 Symbols in which they ask the interesting question, what would happen if you put your hand in the beam of the Large Hadron Collider? Add some contentions with the people in the comment section, leading to this being the highest rated comment. Who do you believe, CERN scientist Dave Barney or YouTuber Thunderfoot? Well, seeing as that made it to the by far the top rated comment, that's going to get a full response to actually what would happen if you were to put your hand in the beam of the Large Hadron Collider. Look for the video this Friday. Point two, the Magic Sandwich Show. So on the Magic Sandwich Show this year, we've had Professor Richard Dawkins and AC Grayling. So we decided to get the counterpoint in from the Christian apologist William Lane Craig. Regrettably, William Lane Craig didn't see fit to extend the professional courtesy of actually replying to our emails. And even though there are pages of discussion about this on his forum, we've still not received a reply. So we're going to take a page out of William Lane Craig's book and we're going to leave an open chair for him on the Magic Sandwich Show, just in case you should feel the need to turn up and defend any of these horrendous logical flaws that have been pointed out with these arguments again and again and again. Point three, draw Mohammed Day three, taking place this year on Twitter on the 20th of May 2012, that's in about a week's time. The reason it's taking place on Twitter this year is because Hamza Kashgari almost got sentenced to death for three very vanilla tweets about Mohammed. So get yourself a Twitter account and tweet Mohammed. Point four, European Atheist Convention, 25th to 27th of May in Cologne. I'm gonna be there, if you're gonna be there, look forward to seeing you then. Point five, if you look up in the evening sky, you'll currently see Venus shining brightly. Now, if you're the sun and I'm the Earth, Venus is actually orbiting, and in about one month's time, it's actually going to go between the sun and the Earth. You're actually going to be, be able to see the planet go across the face of the sun. Now, these are very rare. In fact, this will be the last chance you get to see one of these in a lifetime. Now, it's going to happen on June the 6th. Uh, it's going to be visible from virtually the whole planet, but to see the whole of the transit, you basically have to be on Hawaii or Australia. Those are the places where you get a good chance of clear skies. Now, originally, I was actually scheduled to be doing an experiment in a reactor on more or less the same day, which meant that I had no sensible chance of doing this. However, that experiment's now being postponed. So there is now a possibility that I could actually traipse halfway around the world to actually cover the transit of Venus. So if you think that's a good idea, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do about getting it done. You know, I always like the challenges, you know, explaining high energy particle physics using a child's magnetic toy and a cardboard box.